human beings want to go to Mars. It's a fabulous destination for us to explore. It has so many scientific questions that we could answer, and it might actually be the first place where we find life beyond uh, the atmosphere of our own Earth. We're already working on what to do when we get there and how to protect the people who will make the trip. We're doing uh, quite a bit now, actually, in many different fields, medical, engineering, social sciences, to, to understand what we have to to send people to Mars. And much of that work is in progress right now on board the International Space Station. Since the first people flew in space, we've been studying how their bodies react in an environment where everything is up in the air, because they're weightless. You may develop motion sickness. You will definitely have fluid shifts into your chest and head. You will lose muscle strength. You will lose bone strength. You will be receiving radiation that we don't receive on the ground, and we're not sure exactly what that will do. Exercise is a very effective countermeasure. That, coupled with drugs used for osteoporosis, have allowed us to eliminate bone loss in most or all of the astronauts that have done both the exercise and taken the drugs. But there's also the isolated, confined, extreme environment that the astronauts are in. And that's a challenge to the psychology and, and mental health and performance. On the International Space Station, we've studied people in the space environment for six months at a time. But a Mars mission will take five times as long. Mars missions may take 30 months start to finish. So I don't think it's a bad idea to start getting some longer experience uh, on the International Space Station to give us an idea of what's awaiting us on these future very long flights. So the station partners are taking the next step. For the first time ever on this vehicle, a pair of crew members is going to space for a year. My first flight was very rewarding. There are certain times that are you know, fun. Um, it is very challenging to live on the space station for six months. If we're going to go to Mars, we need to understand how the human body reacts in space for longer periods of time. Человечество по орбите все время летать не будет. Нужно осваивать новые планеты, нужно осваивать солнечную систему. Это это неизбежно. Этот полет как бы первый шажочек вот на этом направлении. Station science during this year will continue to study bone and muscle weakness and psychological effects. But there are new goals too, like gauging how being weightless for many, many months impacts fine motor skills and restful sleep, and evaluating readaptation to gravity. After the astronauts land in Central Asia, after the one-year mission, we'll take them into a small tent and ask them to do certain very simple and very routine activities and measure how much they can and cannot do after the, the long period of space flight. And the crew will use equipment that's already on board to try to quantify the fluid shift that is the prime suspect in vision changes and maybe do something about it. Wouldn't it be nice if we could change that fluid distribution in spaceflight and make measurements of the shape of the eye and, and other function and see if that really is the cause and the effect? At the same time, Kelly and Kornienko and their crewmates will help with the development of technologies that will need to be improved if future deep space missions are to succeed. The International Space Station is a test bed. It allows us to test our communications methods, perfect them, so that we know how to handle large delays later on. Station Robotics on ISS are uh, developing tools that are going to assist uh, crew members for future missions, especially long duration missions uh, to Mars. Uh, we're going to assist the crew members uh, by having the robots do the repetitive tasks and also do the, the tasks that are in the dangerous environment that we don't want to subject our crew members to. When we go to sit down and finally design the new next generation regenerative life support for a spacecraft to take us to Mars, we'll be able to draw on all the operational experience we've gotten with the space station systems to improve the system and make a more reliable and uh, user-friendly system for the crew. While fostering international cooperation and providing benefits to people on Earth right now, and serving as a destination for commercial vehicles and research, 
the International Space Station is enabling future space exploration. The trip to Mars starts right here.